Now the first thing we're gonna do is section off our hair into three different sections so that we will be able to moisturize and comb everything out. It doesn't have to be neat sections and that's why I'm not using a comb at this point. And I'm gonna apply aloe vera juice to my hair as my leave-in conditioner. Then I'm gonna use some cream to my hair uh, to moisturize it. And finally, I'm gonna just use some argan oil um, to each section. And then I'm gonna comb everything out. So I do use the um, leave-in, then I use the cream, and then I use my oil. And then I comb my hair out. It just makes it a little bit easier for me. I know other people do it another way around. But this is a method that works for me in order to retain length. And then after I'm done moisturizing, I'm just going to uh, tie the hair up, stretching it with Amariboni. And just getting it out of the way gonna use do my next section aloe vera juice same process aloe juice and then I'm gonna put some cream and lastly I'm gonna put some argan oil on the hair and then I'm gonna comb it out and just get the section ready for styling same process in the middle section. Leave in. A cream and then oil. Now I'm gonna bring my comb in just to make my uh, section a little bit neater for styling purposes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna comb everything out. My hair is a little bit softer and moisturized, so it's easier to handle at this time. So I'm just going to tie. So I'm just going to open my sections, starting with the middle section. Where I'm going to just open uh, the lines where I'm going to con row. And then tie the rest of the hair out of the way. Just stretch it out with amariboni all the way to the top. Doesn't have to be neat, neat, but I mean, there has to be some type of structure. So now I'm gonna con row my hair all the way down. I mean, I'm not the best con rower, but I mean, I do my, I do my best and it works for the hairstyle. And you're going to get it all the way down when you get to the last bit of hair. Just twist it out just to protect your ends. And then you do the same to the other side. Just start con rowing. All the way to the end. And then twist the last, the little bits at the end so you just protect your ends. Uh, now I go to the front section. I'm going to start this section by my cone row sections. Just opening my first, my two side lines. Um, doesn't have to be neat, neat. It just has to make sense to you. And all of these sections are just dependent on your hair length and uh, what, what you're going to need. And if you need more than three sections, I mean, you should do it. But my hair, I think three sections was perfect for this hairstyle. Then I'm just going to conro as I did the other section before it. Just uh, conro it all the way down. I'm 
and just being as gentle as I possibly can be to my ends just to minimize breakage. If you're going to be doing uh, hairstyles on a regular basis, you need to make sure your hair is always moisturized and you reduce breakage, especially if you want your hair to grow. So I'm not chanting on anything. I'm trying to be as gentle as I possibly can be. And twist out the last bits. And then I do the same on the other side. Just con row all the way down. Being careful to be gentle with your hair. The, the lines don't need to be perfect. They just need to make sense. So if I don't have to use a comb to open my lines, I don't have to, but sometimes you have a little bit of time and if you moisturize your hair, uh, it reduces breakage anyway, so it's worth it. But at the moment, I'm just trying to do a quick hairstyle for the weaker, the work weaker hair, it's something that can be versatile and something that I can easily change up and change down. So I'm back on my first section um, so now I'm just gonna tie my hair with a ribbon, a band, whatever you call it. So my hair is still a little bit wet, so it's not really um, set yet. So I'm just gonna uh, take a pin just to uh, contain the hair. So I'm making a little bit of bubbles, twisting my ends and then securing the ends with um, a pin, a hair pin. So I do the same to all sections. Uh, so now I'm busy with my second section. I've tried to straighten it up, but my hair's still wet, so it's gonna shrink if it can. So now you go, you open your, your section, you divide your section into two, and then you Tighten the ends and then you roll it forward and you, you pin it down with a hairpin and then you just, the last section, I mean, I, I, you can do what you did above, you can just untie it and do the same as you did above with the bubbles, but for me, I'm putting on um, extensions, so I don't really need to do that, the extensions are actually very close to my hair type they're a little bit lighter but my hair during the week because of moisture it's gonna get a little bit lighter um, so I don't mind the, the difference in color um, I secure it with uh, hair pins to make sure that they don't move I take um, hair bands amari boni hair bands whatever you want to call them and then you're gonna just start making bubbles all the way down I mean, you can do this before you even um, attach the hair extensions. Um, just make sure that it's secure. You don't want to go talk to the client and then your hair is falling off. I mean, they'll never forget you, but not for the reasons you don't want them to forget you. So now I'm using my crochet just to add some beads for decorating purpose, decorative purposes. I love just adding beads to my hair, to, to a hairstyle. So... Um, I'm just adding three different beads um, one that you just clip on and one that I just crocheted in and then I'm getting my hair out the way and now I'm just adding my last two per side beads hair, hair beads and that thing it looks cute I like the hairstyle like this so this may be my Monday hairstyle this one this one I like because of the little design I have on top. And thanks for spending some time with me. Like, comment and subscribe if you like the hairstyle. And click the notification bell if you are interested in the type of hairstyles that I like. So that you can get an alert the next time I post something new.